Hey guys, I installed Android O on my Nexus 6P and it's pretty amazing. This is a developer beta version, so it's pretty laggy, but yeah, I'll show you what's in it. So yeah, the cat game doesn't get old, but I hope they change it because I'm really waiting for a game there. So yeah, let's get started. So as I downloaded this build and installed it, I noticed a few things. So the few things I noticed was they have added a file manager. So that's a nice touch to it because I really want a file manager. I used to go all the way to the settings to access it because I don't like third party file managers. So that's a pretty good touch to it. And then I like the way the three that still stays in the update, they didn't remove that. So that's good. Now the settings app. The settings app is new and redesigned like every Android. And this is a nice touch. So this is like the heads up changes you can make easily like the wallpaper change and stuff, which is amazing. So the settings app is a really nice place, but the way the icons are designed and the black and white accent is amazing. And the cellular data and other stuff is not changed, but they're all in folders now, so that's really nice. I like the way these icons are placed and icons are like specified. So for example, all these icons are nice. And they also get default apps, which you can set default apps for audio or your web browsing or your messages like you can set it to hangouts or messenger which is a really nice touch so you don't have to mess around with which app you've got to use the notifications are much better now you can add streams of notification like inbox separately and other stuff separately so that's a really good handy thing if you're an email user and next this place is amazing because i really like the way this icons are placed and they're really smooth and nice to use even though it's a developer build it's amazingly smooth so moving on to connected device, it shows you all the NFC and Android devices which you're connected to, so that's nice. Android O's battery optimizations are amazing, it's been talked a lot about and what it does is it puts all your apps to sleep when the battery consumption is more and that's gonna save you tons of battery so you can last like a whole day without battery. Android O's got you covered and you can also check the individual consumptions of every app so that's nice. And next we have the display. I like to use a small display where there's more screen utilization by me or when I'm watching video or whatever. So that's nice. I just do I just put it the smallest resolution possible. And next we have the sound. So the sound is really nice. I don't see any new ringtones, but probably in the future they're gonna release out new ringtones like how they did for the wallpapers. And next is storage. The storage has a small icon or animation in the corner which gives you a briefing of how much space is consumed. So that's a nice touch, so you can just hop onto the app and see what's popping. And you also have the smart storage and stuff, so that's good. And next we have the security center, not much in this, the smart locks let's say the same, the Nexus imprint and other stuff. And location service has been added here instead of the separate column, so that's nice. And next we have the accounts, not much here either. And next we have the accessibility. There's not much change here either, but they're saying there's better mouse support, which is nice. And next there is support. So here's where the developer options and everything stays. And yeah, just click on it and you can see language and input. The most awaited feature in Nexus is the fingerprint notification swipe. So with this, you can enable that and you're good to go. So as you can see, I'm swiping down and it's working perfectly fine. So they're going to add much more better support, but it's a little buggy now, but it's going to improve soon. And this feature is really nice. I'm going to use this like all the time and I'm already used to it. So yeah, this is a pretty good feature too. So I really like the way it's easily swipeable and yeah, it's like so interactive right now. And I feel like I have a pixel and that's an amazing feeling. And next we have system upgrades. So Google allows us to have system updates unless you want to roll back and they really want us to roll back guys. So the notification is always there. With the system UI tuner, you get these few things that you can add an icon when the headphones inserted or anything you want. There's tons of customizability now and I hope they add more in the near future when it's going to be released. Probably in June or July but yeah, it's a long wait but it's totally worth it. And next we have the navigation bar. The navigation bar can be mended from left hand user to right hand user. So it's a left hand user right now and if you're a right hand user you can just switch to the right hand part and if you're a regular user like me you can just put it in the middle. I like it better when it's all split apart so I'm going to stick with that. You can also add a small icon for performing an action like I want to go back and I just want to click on that so it's going to take me back. So that's amazing so if you're like on the corner of the screen and you want to reach there you can just like tap it over there. 
You can also mess around with the lock screen and customize the buttons that come either side of the lock screen. So when you swipe towards the right, the microphone is always there. But now I'm gonna add Google Keep, so I like to take notes and it's gonna launch up as soon as I swipe right. And when I swipe left, I want to play music. So I'm gonna Spotify, so this is nice. So as you can see, I'm, all I'm gonna do is now swipe towards the right and it's gonna open Google Keep, so that's amazing. The notification bar on Android O is amazing. I like the way this is built this time and you guys can snooze notifications by clicking on the clock icon. So as you can see, you can snooze it for like whatever time you want or 15 or 20 minutes. So that's amazing. So you guys can never forget what to do or you can just temporarily get away with the notifications. So this notification thing is there for everything. So you guys can snooze notification for everything you want and you can also undo them. That's pretty good. And you can also have notification streams, which is amazing. And yeah, it's gonna come out in the later updates too, and I'm gonna make that in another video. So yeah. So the next thing in the notification bar is the way it's built. As you can see, the small icons are easily distributed and the minimalistic way. And Android does it pretty well. Google's the best in this stuff. Hashtag Apple. We all know what they removed and we hate it. Google's really good with the software and the software feel the customer goes through or the user goes through but this time around it's amazing. You get six notification icons here and you can just click on them to perform an action and the same stuff from Android N. So I'm going to make another video. So please leave a thumbs up, please subscribe, it helps and I'm going to be putting out all the developer updates video like this and yeah, peace out. Thank you.